One thing we may have to do as far as our hauling system so we don't topple the system over is make a change of direction pulley at the bottom. If you have enough tail in the rope, we can take advantage of that instead of having to use another piece of equipment. So I'm going to continue and make two wraps. And these two wraps need to be fairly snug. Then we're going to make two loose wraps. I'm going to put my hand in here, let Carney do the wraps. Once we get those two loops right there, we're going to twist those. And what this is going to do, actually you can hold those straight, I'll just make the twist right here. Okay. We're going to take this piece and we're going to twist it over the top and we're going to lock it with a half hitch and we're going to put a second one on there just to be safe and what this has done is it's allowed us an attachment point that's not going to travel up the leg so that when we pull to haul our load up vertically we're not putting a toppling force it's kind of being sheared the, down the leg and we've got a nice nice change of direction there exactly And we'll finish this off like we started before with two more complete wraps. And then we'll make it into a clove hitch. And then I'm going to just take and put a small overhand to secure it off. Okay, Vince, so we have finished our change of direction. We, we've got our double pulley up here, which we could run two ropes off of, to our change of direction here on this particular haul line. I see it's tied on the inside versus the outside. Uh, is that important? Does it matter, you know, as, as far as where you've got your pulley situated? Yeah, it sure does, Carney. What we're wanting to do is we're wanting to make the pull come back to the inside of that leg right there. We don't want to come across the center because it's going to obstruct the hole or what we're, the load that we're trying to lift. So if we keep it as close to in line with these two and come across there, what this is going to do for us is when he tensions the system and makes a haul, if you look at the, the pulley configuration, it's pulling this leg in, it's trying to compress the system, it's not trying to pull it over. Uh, or pull it apart and if you look you can make an imaginary line from the connection of the carabiner through the axle of the pulley and continue that line down and you have to make sure that it falls somewhere inside of the footprint or this ledger that's created. What this does is it keeps it from wanting to topple the system over. If for some reason that's not possible then you would have to act just like you would with an A-frame or a gin pole and we would have to guide this system off with three or four guys to keep the system from toppling over. This would save time and equipment because we don't have to use the equipment and the time to set up the guys and it's still everything pulls and the, the system's very stable. Great. Well this is a, a super uh, really a basic setup for timber rigging and, and can be done anywhere in the city, out in the country, wherever you can find timbers or even trees for that matter, something with just a little bit of equipment could be set up nicely. Gives us a good artificial high direction wherever we need it.